Boxes are the bread and butter of LibGuides. These reusable chunks of information have the potential to make guide creation much easier. Boxes should cover a single objective or idea. For example, search tips and databases should be two different boxes. This makes content more digestible and also easier to reuse in other guides. To create a new box, click the Add Box link in the column you want the box to be in. All primary content boxes should be in the right column. Give the box a sensible name. Only insert standard boxes or reuse an existing one. You can also select the box's position on the page at this point. Once the box is created, use the Add Reorder button to add content items. There are many different types of content items you can add, but the two most common are databases and links. Databases should always be added as a database, not a link. This link will be dynamic and change if the database link changes. So select Database under Add Reorder and begin to type the database name. The search isn't perfect, so for some databases you might have to scroll a bit to find it. Once you do, click on the database title. Create a brief custom description that specifically explains to users of this guide why this database is useful. This is a required element. Leave everything other than the position as is. Then click Save. Do this for as many databases as you need. Keep the important ones first. Add links by selecting Link under Add Reorder. Once you add a link this way, it's put into the repository for future reuse. The link name should be the resource title. The URL should be the link URL. Window Target controls where the link will open, whether it's in the current window or in a new one. Leave Proxy disabled unless you're linking to a Penn State only resource that isn't a journal, like an ebook, for example. Your descriptions should be similar to a database description, unless the link is obvious. Leave the display as it is. Finally, you can add an image if you'd like. Make sure you review the Adding Content page for more information on how to add box content. There's a lot in there because there are a lot of options.